away. One autumn day in the yard, Diesel and his friends were complaining about the weather. Bah, that autumn breeze is here now, said one of them. Indeed, replied Diesel. If you are quiet, you can hear the wind whistling, said Rosie. Wow, said Molly, you really can. Ugh, those two are so annoying, said Diesel. Then the fat controller arrived. Oh, hello, I just wanted to inform you that they have your new smoke deflectors back at Barrow, Gerald. I love having you two here, but apparently they need you back. Are there any repairs you'll need before tomorrow? asked the fat controller. Um, I suppose my wheels could use some oiling. And I could use a new coat of paint, or at least a polish. Well, I'll make sure that this happens. Have a good evening. And he walked away. The fat controller is taking you guys away. How are you okay with this? Well, we have been here for almost a month, said one. We were going to go home no matter what, said the other. That night, Diesel couldn't bear the thought of being alone again. It's not happening, he thought to himself. I'm not losing my friends. The next grey morning, Diesel woke up to a very busy yard. He was moved into a siding so that he was out of the way. But the whole day, he couldn't stop thinking of his friends leaving. Oh, hello, Diesel. Oh, um, hello, Molly. Where's Ryan and Gerald? Gerald ran off as he was tired of something. Someone. I heard them talking about some bridge to Barrow. Bridge to Barrow? Wait, wait, wait. You mean the Vickistan Bridge? Um, I think. I've never been that far before. Diesel thought about what the fat controller said the other day. Oh my! Shoot! Lend me your driver! I don't think he knows how to work a diesel. I have experience, fortunately enough. So he hopped into Diesel's cab and they raced off to the Vickers Town Bridge. The bridge. Our home, it's on the other side, said Gerald. What, what if the fat controller figures us out? We have to go back. No, we will cross this bridge and get away from that fat no good and that diesel that couldn't give a puff about our sanity. Our sanity? What do you mean about our sanity? I mean, he couldn't care less about what we want. I heard him. He doesn't want us to leave because he thinks that we are his friends. But we are. No, we are not. He would be our friends if he were to care about literally anyone else but himself. He sent people on trips to get themselves in trouble, to keep himself out of trouble. Don't, do you really want a friend like that? Oh, shh, he's here. I don't care if he's here. He needs to hear this. Gerald Ryan, stop! Gerald, we should go. No, we are not going to go. Diesel, you are an imbecile that couldn't care about anyone but yourself. That is why we are leaving. You have no heart, and you know it. But you, you don't, you don't understand. Please, you don't understand. You got sent away. You got your driver fired. You're the reason we're here. You're the reason everything has gone wrong. Okay, um, well, 
We'll, we'll be off then. Come on, Gerald. But uh, you should be thankful. Your friends are finally getting what they want. Don't you care about anyone but yourself? Your friends? I, I, I do, I swear. No, you don't. We're leaving. We have no more time for you. Please, stop. Come on, Ryan, we have some real friends to see again. And they puffed off, leaving Diesel on the verge of tears. <gasps> Roll the credits. A Thomas the Tank Engine fan production.